I want to bring a word of encouragement to you guys today. Our nation is facing a crisis and we're entering some tough times. Our nation is being plagued by an epidemic or whatever label people want to attribute to it, but the coronavirus is causing a lot of problems in our lives because it, we are now facing times when we're no longer able to congregate together. We're no, no longer able to have our usual life routines. Um, all the changes that are happening, cancellations, events, work, and other travels are all being disrupted. Such change brings about uncertainty in our lives. And that uncertainty can cause fear, can cause people to panic, uh, build up anxiety over uh, what to do now that things are not normal. Well, the problem with being not normal is that that's the usual way things actually are. We live in a world that is, is broken. We live in a world that uh, is riddled with sin. And uh, in Psalm 118, verse 8, it says that it's better to take refuge in Yahweh than to trust in people. And as much as our government is trying to work to help uh, slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus and, and to try to um, shut down uh, the amount of uh, socialization that is happening uh, so that people aren't contracting it and spreading it unnecessarily, uh, there's a lot that doesn't go on with the government and what they can do to solve the problem. The world is going to always be facing troubles. The COVID-19 virus is just the most recent one that we're currently encountering. And the way that we trust in Yahweh and we look to Yahweh to be our strength, that's where we'll find peace. You see, if we go to God for our daily bread, if we go to God for that daily encouragement, that daily comfort, knowing that no matter what's happening in the world, God is with us. And He knows what we need. He knows how to take care of us better than any other person in the world, better than any government. You see, if we look for our understanding of the world through TV, the news, Twitter, other media, We'll be encased in the, what the world is all about, and that is inciting panic, thinking that the, everything is going wrong and that we need to be very afraid that to go out and to uh, be in public uh, would be to risk our lives. Now, there's no reason for us to be foolish. You know, we should exercise wisdom. We don't want to unnecessarily endanger our lives. You know, we don't need to be going and trying to find ways to... Uh, become sick. But uh, as Peter writes in his first letter, he says, you shouldn't be surprised when you undergo fiery trials and that people all around the world, your fellow brothers and sisters are undergoing the same trials. And these trials actually have an advantage. They show that your faith is genuine. You see, when we go through times of trouble, and we all will, because life is filled with suffering, those are opportunities for us to believe in God. You see, tough times call for strong faith. And when we stand against the way that the world's attitudes and uh, behaviors uh, with the panic and the frenzy and, and all the uncertainty that that breeds, when we stand against that, we don't get caught in it. We find our solid rock in the one who can be sure the one who knows what we need, in God, our Father. And that's why we don't need to have this attitude about being concerned about what the future is going to look like, how long these um, stipulations that the government has issued are going to last. In 2 Timothy 1.7, it says that God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power, love, and self-control. When we believe in God and we, and we run to Him and find refuge in God, He is the one who provides the strength we need. Amidst all the changes that are happening in the world, He's the constant. He helps us stay grounded. And we know that when we trust in Him, He'll provide what our souls need, that peace that cannot be found in the world. The rest in Him, knowing that even if everything seems to be going crazy because the world is 
crazy. And the world has been crazy throughout history. But God doesn't change. And God has seen former believers in him through hard times. And he will see us through this hard time as well. So what I want to encourage you this day is to go to God. Look to God for your daily bread. Look to him to be your sustainer, your protector and provider. And don't worry what the world has to say. And don't get caught up in all the hype that the world tries to promote, making things out to seem like they are when they aren't. You know, the only true perspective we need is knowing that regardless of what happens, God is the one that we should trust in. And God is the one that we should take refuge in. All else will fail. This is what it means to stay strong in the Lord.